Welcome to Art Warehouse. BTSRM is famous for his love of painting. The title of today's video is a small art gallery in RM's house. How's it up? This work is the work of Yoon hyung gun the master of Korean modern and contemporary monochrome. RM is known as a diehard fan of artist Yoon hyung gun Korean abstract art in the 1970s is characterized by its emphasis on achromatic colors and moderation. The characteristic of the artist's work is that it has an oriental feel due to the natural smearing effect of paint that is smeared by drawing lines on hemp or cloth that has not been surface treated. He is an artist who is actively exhibiting not only in Korea but also in famous art museums abroad. Oh. Ah. 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 This is the work of Li Bei, who works with charcoal. Charcoal is a symbol of repeated creation and extinction, and the artist says that if wood is burned in a kill and cooled to leave only carbon, the charcoal will contain 100 different colors and lights, not just black. The artist cuts the charcoal and attaches it to the canvas to complete the work by polishing the surface. Next to it is the work of Joel Shapiro. It is characterized by using inanimate wood or bronze to create work that feels lively and energetic, as if dancing with hard straight lines. Yes, <laughs> You can also see the works of the very famous artist Kim Wanki. Kim Wanki is a representative Korean artist. There is also a private art gallery in Seoul. He is the first artist in the history of Korean art to have auctioned more than 10 billion won. The style of covering the entire surface with dots is the signature of artist Wanki Kim. This is the work of artist Sisung Won. The soft pastel colors create a fantastic atmosphere. Even at the age of over 80, he is one of Korea's leading artists who seeks answers to concerns about simultaneity through work. Next to it is the work of Ken Yobe. He is a native of Jeju Island and is an artist who draws a lot of pictures with the theme of Jeju Island's nature and history. Ah, yeah, yeah. A flower painting by Kornu Pyun hangs in front of the entrance. RM seems to really like artist Yoon Hyung Gun's paintings. It's by Ronnie Horn. It is a work of glass. Born in New York in 1955, the artist is said to have found much of his inspiration in nature during a trip to Iceland. He says it takes four months to produce one glass piece. This is a water drop work by Kim Chan Yol. 
The artist famous as a droplet painter has been working on his droplets for over 50 years. The artist says that the act of drawing water droplets is an act to return everything to nothingness. He said that when anger, anxiety, and fear turn everything to nothing, we will experience peace and peace. This is the mountain of artist Yo Young Kook. It is said that it is a picture that Oram likes very much. Yo Young Kook is a very famous artist who first introduced the concept of Western art, which is the abstraction of Korean modern and contemporary art. To career in his own unique way. On one side of the wall, small sized paintings by Korean modern and contemporary artists are hung beautifully. Lee Day One Submerged Rock. Lee Day One Still Life. Chan Wook Jun's Riverside Landscape. Oji Ho Scenery. Sangbong scenery. This is Lim Jik Soon's scenery. This is the work of Lee Sung Jo. Lee Sung Jo was the first artist to attempt an established geometric abstraction in Korean art in the 1960s. He is evaluated as an artist who has a unique position in the development of modernism in Korea. The round and long pipe video is repeated and the cold metal texture is felt. At first glance, it looks like a print, but it's strictly all hand drawn and painted with a brush. This is outside MT Sayalark by Pat Kyosuk, a painter who paints mountains. It's a description that can't come out as just looking at the mountain. It is the brush strokes and colors that can be obtained only when the mountain and oneself become one. There is also a glasswork by Zumi Kato on the table. This is a horse by Kwon Jin Kiyu. For the 100th anniversary of Kwon Jin Kiyu's birth at the Seoul Museum of Art, Oram brought this work from home and helped with the exhibition. This is Taki's work signal. It's very modern and cool. Born in Greece in 1925, the artist's work is also housed in the sculpture park of Soma Art Museum in Seoul. This is TV. RM is also very interested in the works of up and coming Korean artists. Birds and Cats by Kim Dong Ji, a rising artist. It's by Daniel Boyd. He is an Australian Aboriginal artist born in 1982. He is an artist who raises the question of the one-sided historical record of the West. His pointillism style works are unique. This is the work of Japanese potter Otoni Workshop. Because of the name of the workshop, it is mistaken for a group, but it is one person. He mainly works on pottery, but recently he is expanding his scope to paintings with cute feelings and pastel colors. 
어, 그림 및 글씨들이 다양하게 <웃음> 배치되어 있는 모습을 보실 수 있습니다 <웃음> 민망하네요 제가 말씀드렸잖아요 그림이랑 저, 저, 저밖에 없다고 제가... You can also see the work of Hugo Rondinone, a small colorful stone tower. 아, 여기 다른 방인데 여기도 뭐 똑같아요? 그림? 그림? This is the hill where the school is located by Sanki Sun. He is a painter who passed away at the age of 39 in disability, poverty, and loneliness. He portrayed the underprivileged and the harsh realities in his paintings. 그림? 네. 이런 식으로 돼 있습니다. 아주 마음에 들고 잘 살고 있습니다. 이런 이런 느낌. 네. 이상. 우리 소개 끝. Thank you so much for watching our video and see you in the following video. Please like and subscribe.